Hi Aquarius friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to be doing a bi-weekly for you guys. Not that I really like doing the bi-weeklies. I do like giving you guys the weeklies like I always do. But um, I just have so much going on over the next two weeks. It's just insane. So this is going to go from January 7th to January 20th, 2019. There is a full moon on January 20th, for those of you that care. So for you guys, Aquarius, I'm using Wheel of the Year. And this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. As a reminder, Aquarius, I am reading for a lot of you. It's impossible for the reading to resonate for every single one of you. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Absolutely feel free to watch your other signs. Aquarius, friends, spirit, sun, moon, and rising signs. January 7th to the 19th. Aquarius. Ace of Swords flipped up for you guys. Listen, whenever I see an Ace around this time of the year, definitely January right now. The timing is now. After dealing with confusion, bullshit, whatever it was, just, I feel like everything is just being illuminated for you. After being in the dark for probably a while. Definitely a new beginning. And would you believe the Ace of Pentacles flipped up too? I can't even make this shit up. Wow. If you're an air sign with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, your moon arising, you are absolutely positively being divinely guided. See that angel? New job, new home, abundance, success, wealth. I mean, that is the epitome of growth, stability, security. I love it in this deck. And really being guided toward what you're really meant to be de meant to do. Okay, that did not flip up. All right, your cards feel good. Definitely. So I am going to be doing the Celtic Cross spread for you guys. Those of you, Aquarius, that would like to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go, if you would like a quick question answered, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. You guys are on divine timing. Put the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Oh my God, there's you. That's how you see your, That's how you see yourself. I can already tell this is going to be a beautiful reading. Wow. That's your outcome card. I'm going to get one more. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Swords. You know... Look at this Four of Swords. Right. This particular Four of Swords, you're looking back. You're looking back to the past. And here's the past. I have to jump the gun here. But here's the past coming back. And yeah, I just feel like some of you are, should I stay or should I go? That really is the vibe. Especially those of you that are in Committed relationships. Others of you spending time alone. You know, you could just be with, you know, like with the Ace of Swords. You know, I do see it kind of here too with the Moon. The Nine of Swords definitely going through some difficulties.
you're taking a break, you're taking a step back, you're healing, recovering. It's not a bad energy at all. And, you know, it really could just be, you know, air signs are like that. I love you guys. But some of you just really like to be on your own. Like, you want to be, or maybe you're going on vacation. Taking a break from work, taking time off, whatever the case may be. Some of you definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio Cancer Pisces man with the King of Cups. Aquarius, this person definitely could be on your mind. But the Four of Swords, this absolutely could be the person you're waiting on. Thinking about, looking back to the past from, or ain't them you. you know, for others of you, it could be your energy, you know, the King of Cups, especially if you're male, you know, is very much in control of his emotions, always appears very calm, cool, and collective. There, you know, for some of you, there, there could be something bothering you. And you're just simply playing it cool. But some of you are very much in the mind. You know, you're definitely worrying, you're stressing. But it's going to be okay. You know, with the Four of Swords, I think some of you really are waiting on this King of Cups to come back. In some way, shape, or form. To come back. Or it's you, Aquarius. Very emotionally attached to something. It could have something to do with a relationship. It's something to where I feel like. Your heart is in it. And you're waiting on this. And that's why for some of you. You're worrying about it. You had some kind of good luck, good fortune. Just like the Ace of Swords, see the sun, clarity. Something came through. Burst of insight. We see it here. Something something definitely positive took place here. And it was meant to be. I kept saying that with the aces falling out. And I was feeling it too. It was absolutely positively meant to be. Destined. This wheel could have turned for you. It could be for some of you with matters of the heart. Others of you definitely related to relationships. It's turning in your favor. You know, it is kind of weird. Not weird, but weird in a good way. Like, for some of you, like this Wheel of Fortune could be in reverse. It's positive either way. In reverse, it's just not the t not time yet. So for some of you, it was like this Wheel of Fortune could be in reverse. But like I said, either way, in reverse, it's 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 turning. But at a much slower pace. You know, the fact that you even have the Wheel of Fortune here is positive. It really is a blast, fortunate energy. It's a, it's, it's, it's a blast. It's, it's, it's blessed. But for some of you, I do feel like it is turning at a much slower pace. I mean, look, even reversed, it's still moving. Either way, it is still going. It's still going. For some of you, definitely something has definitely started 
you know, where the wheels started to turn for you and then for others of you, something could have happened that was very much meant to happen. For some of you, it could be a cycle that ended, a new one, be, a new one is beginning or began, you know, because you do have the Nine of Pentacles in the recent past and the Four of Swords is the overall energy. I mean, really, some of you could have went from being married or in a relationship to now being single, whether you're male or female. Doesn't matter. You know, all the decks I have, and if you're on my Facebook page, Instagram, you know that I have well over 200, and that's just tarot cards. That's not even oracle cards, but that's besides the point. This is the only deck, Wheel of the Year, that I've ever seen a man on the Nine of Pentacles that I could think of. But it's just, it's very much a single independent energy. But financially, amazing. Living comfortably. A comfortable lifestyle. Having absolutely the, everything you need and want. Like not struggling at all. But I do feel some of you that were married or in a relationship really went to being single. It could even be take it could even be taking a break. You, you know, with your partner. Even if you haven't completely broke up, you definitely could be taking a break. So, some of you could have became single, some of you, others of you were taking a break. You know, but ironically, mentally, you're, you're, you're ready to move forward. You're, you're ready to move on to, to the next chapter. Like, this is crowning you. It's what you're thinking about. You're ready. You know, it's very possible that some of you could be moving to a new home. Especially with the Ace of Cut, one, uh, Pentacles falling out. Others of you, you know, moving toward more peace, harmony, from crappy times to much more calmer times. You know what it is that you want. You're ready to move. You're ready for it. This can definitely be definitely you waiting on, but definitely moving from crappy times to calmer times. Now, if you're in a relationship and did not break up, you could have just went through some, you know, challenges like all relationships. A little rocky, difficult. That I, I, I really do see that healing. Definitely. And for others of you, maybe, you know, you ended a relationship and, you know, this is you single in the recent past. But I really do see someone potentially new, not even new, someone that you know coming back with the Knight of Cups. Like you already know this person. They're around you, whether you work with them. Or, you know, you had a romantic relationship or not. Could have been platonic in the past. Someone's available now and they're coming in. And this is the start of this. This is all the second week. Definitely a love offer coming in. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you, it could be an offer that's coming in. But it would be an offer that is very, very emotional. You know, those of you, if you're not receiving a, you know, a love offer, vice versa, you could be making one as well, Aquarius to someone you know I still see 
forward movement here. You know, regardless of what's going on, what's happening, you're still mentally and emotionally moving forward and healing from whatever this crap is. We're going to clarify for future. But you're, you know, you're moving. And this deck is moving much slower. That's probably, that's, you know, that's a good thing. Absolutely not as slow as the Knight of Pentacles. Don't get me mistaken, but absolutely slow. But you're moving toward happiness, your wishes. And for others of you, this really could be an offer coming to you. That in love. From a water sign. And this, you know, it could this person could be younger or older. It just depends on who you are. The knights tend to be older. The kings are, you know, the knights are younger. The kings tend to be older and more mature than the knights. well-established, this older one. This person could be making an offer to you. This could even be your your spouse, your significant other, offering you a trip. Definitely. And, I mean, you see yourself as the star. And one thing I notice about this car is all of the water ocean of water you are moving right toward your hopes your wishes your dreams it's your card you're moving toward wish fulfillment you know and you are listen i keep saying this it's 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 got to be right on for somebody you are absolutely positively without a shadow of a doubt dealing with divine timing here you know you guys are my last sign guys will last for a while because you will be first for everything coming up when it is your birthday season. That's how I roll here. So, I mean, all of the readings were great. Really, were, were great. But this is really nice. This is really beautiful. You know, it, it, it's... It's beautiful clarification that you're on the right path and being divinely guided along the way. And you're healing emotionally. And I feel many of you are very, 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 very optimistic the second week. You know. Whatever this is that you're waiting on right now, please stop worrying. Whatever it is that's causing worry, anxiety, this is your wish come true. Others of you, it's optimism. That optimistic attitude, staying positive, not, not this. Not this. We got to get out of there. And, I, and I, you are. You're rising up from it. And you're, this, is in, this is how you see yourself. This is in your environment. And how people around, around you are viewing you. But just look at the card. It's judgment. You are. Look at all the light. The clarity. After worrying for no reason, this is usually self-imposed, I'm sorry to say, but it is. It's you worrying for no reason, right? It could be making or receiving a decision here.
You know, it represents rebirth, healing, hearing the call, taking action. People are viewing you, you know, as, as taking action. You're doing what you need to do. And many of you, this is that, this is you receiving that divine energy. You're probably receiving definitely signs from the universe. Absolutely listen to your intuition. I feel like you are being very intuitive. Starting a new beginning, moving forward. This is second ch second chances. Lots of communication with the star card. Healing your past. Those of you that have someone from your past coming back, it really could be you really, really giving them a second chance. Big time. For others of you, it's rising up from challenges, difficulties. You know, in a sense, I don't want to say this. Being reborn again, in a sense. And your hopes and fears, you have the three of wands. Again, you know... It is waiting. Could be something that you started, something that you're waiting on. You know, again, you know, with this Wheel of Fortune, it, it's turning a little bit slower. But this is also growth, expansion here. You're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for action. You're waiting for something to take root. To take root. You definitely could be waiting on something to take root with a Leo. This could be a relationship or a, or business related. You could be waiting on a Leo, or you could be starting something with a Leo. You know, with the Three of Wands, and then you have Strength here. Or Taurus in this deck. Tor well, we have Taurus here. But, but we're going to clarify. I, I, if this was a private reading, I would say more Taurus. I mean, I know this is a Leo card, but look at the card. He's wrestling a bull. I'm just saying. And you have Taurus here. That's not a coincidence. But I'll give you a Leo. But one of them is important. Maybe it's legal documents. You could be signing legal documents. Especially if you're getting like a raise or a big promotion. Like with the company that you work for. And some of you have had to be patient with waiting on whatever this is for you. But definitely needing to keep the faith. It seems like a theme, really, throughout this whole reading, that you need to stay positive, remain optimistic, keep the faith, and believe how strong you are. For some of you, really, with strength, I feel like you need to literally do this. Especially if you have fire in your chart. Aries Leo Sag. Grab the bull by the horns. And take action. Stop procrastinating. Right? This looks like procrastinating. Sorry. Juggling. Deciding. Come on. Can't make that up. Going back and forth. Same, it's the same crap underneath. Procrastinating, whether it's you or this fire sign. 
that is now single. For some of you with strength, needing to, you know, take charge, take control of the situation, even needing to go in, have the courage. You know, for some of you, if it does have to do with the company that you work for, or something legal, having something to do with the government. Very much staying positive and with justice, things are going to go in your favor. It really does look amazing. What, you know what I want to say? Positive energy brings in positive results, right? I know it's easier said than done, but you know I'm right. Negative energy, what does it do, Aquarius? It does the same thing. It does. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to clarify for you guys with the after tarot. Do you believe I picked up the Nine of Cups? I'm just saying. You already have the star. But the after tarot is what comes next. What's the next step after the Nine of Swords? We're going to... Death card flipped up. Okay, so the I only read these in the upright. They're only supposed to be in the upright. Something needs to end. That's what's in the process. Maybe this person. Let me get another card there. Actually, I'm gonna get one on the Nine of Pentacles. see where you're moving toward. Definitely. <coughs> you know what I love about this Ten of Wands? This is future now. So, this water sign has to let something go, let something die. I think it's definitely him that's worrying. Most likely a Scorpio. Needs to let something go, a marriage, a relationship, whatever the commitment is, okay? It's legal and it's binding. But they've, they've, they're in the process they're in because the, I said I feel like this is moving much slower for some of you. They're in the process of literally dropping all of the shit, just dropping it all, and what do they have left? One wand, which is what a new beginning. And they do it. They go from the nine to the ten, holding one wand. Definitely. Wow. It's a Leo. I'm going to give you Leo or Taurus for sure. Whatever it is, Aquarius, it's happiness. It's good health. Feeling vibrant. Feeling excited. Just, it's the most positive, positive card in the entire deck. Staying positive. Staying out of your head. Good things are coming to you. They really, really are. They really, really are. Um, let me look at the star real quick. 
me. I have this. I have the whole. I have the whole deck of mess. What is going on here? Okay, here we go. It's just me. The star. Okay, both of these fell out. Look at this. You guys are very much being very, very... I can't even make this shit up. This is some serious divine timing, spiritual energy. The Wheel of Fortune, again, because you already have it right here. So for some of you, I was, I'm right on about this. It is moving much slower than what you would like, but it's about to pick up. Stay patient. Patient and keeping the faith is a theme. It really, really is Aquarius. It is. It is. I don't think this has anything to do with a Sagittarius. This is all you. All you. I gotta, I'm nosy. Let's see what it started turning in the, in the foundation spirit. Okay, that one. Unbelievable. It's the past. It's something or someone from the past, and you know this person. If you're waiting on someone from the past, but they're coming. I think it's going to take a little bit. Six of Swords. They're coming. Could even be... I kind of feel surprised. They're traveling to come see you, something. You, them... It's an amazing reading, whatever it is. Guys, I love it. I love your reading. I love you guys. Please, if it didn't resonate, take what does. Leave what doesn't. Watch your other signs. But um, I thought it was really one of the best readings. Amazing. I love you guys. Take care, and I will see you back here soon.